Welcome to another episode of the Med Madness podcast, where we break down complex medical topics into clear and understandable insights. Today, we're diving into generalized anxiety disorder, or GAD, a condition that affects millions of people worldwide. We'll explore what GAD is, its clinical features, how it's diagnosed, and the most effective treatment options. By the end of this episode, you'll have a solid understanding of GAD and its impact on both adults and children. Next, let's discuss what generalized anxiety disorder, or GAD, really is. GAD is characterized by chronic and excessive worry about a variety of everyday issues. Unlike the normal anxieties that we all experience from time to time, GAD involves worry that is persistent, difficult to control, and often overwhelming. This worry extends to multiple areas of a person's life, including their health, finances, relationships, and work. Now, let's take a closer look at the clinical features of GAD. Individuals with GAD typically experience anxiety that lasts for at least six months. This anxiety is accompanied by three or more of the following symptoms in adults and just one additional symptom in children. Restlessness or feeling on edge, fatigue, difficulty concentrating, irritability, muscle tension and sleep disturbances such as difficulty falling or staying asleep. These symptoms significantly impact the person's daily life causing distress and impairing their ability to function effectively. Next, let's move on to how GAD is diagnosed. Diagnosing GAD requires meeting specific criteria as outlined in the DSM-5-TR. The key aspects include persistent and excessive worry about multiple issues for at least six months, difficulty controlling the worry, the presence of associated symptoms like restlessness, fatigue and difficulty concentrating, these symptoms cause significant distress or impairment in important areas of functioning. It's crucial to rule out other causes such as substance use, medical conditions or other mental disorders to confirm the diagnosis of GAD. Now that we've covered diagnosis, let's talk about treatment options. The good news is that GAD is treatable and several effective options are available. First line treatments include cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT and medications such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors known as SSRIs, or serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors called SNRIs. These treatments aim to reduce the severity of symptoms and improve quality of life. CBT helps patients recognize and change their thought patterns, which can reduce anxiety. SSRIs and SNRIs are medications that adjust the levels of neurotransmitters in the brain, thereby helping to control anxiety. For those who may not respond well to these first-line treatments, Second-line options like benzodiazepines or buspirone may be considered. However, these medications come with their own risks, such as potential misuse or dependence, and are generally used with caution. Next, let's consider a brief case study to illustrate the impact of GAD. Imagine a 35-year-old woman who has been feeling overwhelmed for the past eight months. She worries constantly about her job performance, her family's well-being, and even the possibility of intruders breaking into her home. Despite her efforts, she cannot control her worry, which often leaves her feeling restless and irritable. She also experiences muscle tension, particularly in her shoulders, and struggles with sleep disturbances. After visiting her primary care physician and undergoing a thorough assessment, she is diagnosed with generalised anxiety disorder. With the support of CBT and a carefully selected SSRI, she begins to regain control over her anxiety, leading to significant improvements in her quality of life. Generalized anxiety disorder is a challenging condition, but with proper diagnosis and treatment, individuals can manage their symptoms and lead fulfilling lives. In today's episode, we covered the key features of GAD, how it is diagnosed, and the most effective treatment options available. To reinforce your understanding of this topic, we encourage you to engage with the pre- and post-podcast quizzes and explore the Anki flashcards we've prepared for you. These tools are designed to help you retain and apply the knowledge you've gained from this episode. Thank you for listening to Med Madness. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next episode.